How many images should you use in your chatbot? What kind of images? Do you have to break the bank to make this happen? No, Grasshopper. Absolutely not. My name is RJ Redden, and welcome to Black Belt Bots. I'm going to do a short video today answering some real common questions that I get about putting images in your chatbot. So, first of all, relax. If you don't have experience creating images and you don't have a whole lot of, you know, a bank full of money to spend on it, these things can be done for your chatbot pretty simply and easily. Main thing to remember, people are seeing these things on their phone. They are not spending a whole lot of deep time analyzing uh, the images. Uh, so if they leave just a tiny bit to be desired, don't worry about it so much. Main thing is get your branding in there. Get something that people will recognize is yours. You'll see at the top corner of this video, my chatbot, Spinning Dragon, in a little circle. Spinning Dragon helps me deliver all of my chat messages. And Spinning Dragon is on all of my marketing. So people, when they, when they see that little, uh, that little Spinning Dragon right there, that little ninja, they know that it's Black Belt Bots and it's me. You want to put your logo on at the very least. You want to show it at the beginning at the very least. Again, you don't have to spend a million dollars with a designer. You don't have to do any of those things, but just remember the basics. The basics will get you through if that's the route that you choose to go. So you can put images, you can put GIFs, which are short little three second reaction videos, and you can put long form video into your chatbot. Which one do I suggest for you? All three, Grasshopper. Experiment with all these different types of things. Listen, people bond with images far, far more easily than they do with text. And people bond with video very quickly compared to the other two. Listen, when's the last time you voted on American Idol. When's the last time you were watching one of those competition shows and you felt really strongly about one side or another? Why? It doesn't affect you in any way. The reason is, is because we bond with people's images. We bond with them over video. We build that know, like, and trust factor. So the reason that I suggest using all three, using images, using GIFs, using video, uh, that will put you in the very best position. Maybe you don't want to use video, that's totally okay, and that it really is, I could, there's enough on video, I could do a whole other topic on it, but just remember that when people are looking to bond with somebody, video is the easiest part, images are second, second best, and text, really, people don't bond with that too well. It doesn't really build the no like truster that much. So, <clears throat> how many images? My rule of thumb is every three to four blocks of text, I will put an image or a GIF in there. Uh, and I will do it because I want to break up the expanse of that text. People are used to be invol being involved in conversations. That is a give and take. It's a push-pull. It's an I say something, you say something. So a bot is a bit of a one-sided conversation, unless you have a lot of open-ended questions in there. It's a bit of a one-ended conversation. So what I do is I break up that long expensive ta expanse of text with an image or a GIF. Three tools that will help you so much in this chatbot journey. You, these three tools all have free versions and uh, they are plentiful and lovely and wonderful and have never let me down. So here we go. Number one, Bitmoji. Bitmoji.com. It allows you to make a cartoon avatar of yourself. And once you've made that avatar, it will show that cartoon avatar in situations and having reactions and doing things that make people laugh. I suggest this for most of my bot customers. People want to have a minute away. People want to laugh. You can touch people. You can touch people with your sense of humor. And Bitmoji can help you do that. Totally free. Cost you 10 whole minutes to make an avatar. See, see what kind of images that produces and see if that's something that you might want to use in your chatbot. Guarantee you uh, it has worked for my clients. Canva. 
Canva.com. It's the second tool that I recommend. Maybe it's free and it's fabulous. And if you don't know anything about graphic design, it will A, provide you with a ton of walkthrough videos, which are very good, and B, it'll also just give you templates. If you just see something that you like and you kind of want to repeat that and just judge it to be more you, you can totally do that. Canva.com, again, a free service. Third one, Giphy, G-I-P-H-Y dot com. Giphy will give you, if you search for the word celebrate, it will give you celebration uh, gifts. Uh, it will give you, if you search the word joy, if you search the word, I don't know, medicine, I don't know. It will give you, point being, it will give you several uh, gifts that are appropriate that you can use inside your bot. Lastly today, emojis are excellent for use in videos, uh, in videos, in chatbots. I use them all the time. I absolutely do. I want to break up those, you know, the emojis are the little tiny pictures that you can kind of put uh, everywhere in your text in a many chat bot. They're great. I totally use them to break up things and to, to make people, you know, again, just make people smile. But here's the thing. Don't put so many in that it looks like we're reading a ransom note. Don't do it. People will turn away. People will stop reading your bot. I have several bots that I've stopped subscribing to because they use more emojis than they do words. And I am just not patient enough for it. It also just way, way, it's just so over the top, darlings. Two emojis, maybe three if you're feeling real expressive. And then move on. Please do this. Don't use too many. It's really, really a turnoff with folks. So that's what I got for you today. Listen, start experimenting. Start making some images. Test it. Make sure that it's what you want. Um, test it with other people and experiment on them to develop that kind of brand language within your bot. Make sure you've got your, your logo in there somewhere so that people just know that they're in the right place. And if you possibly can, use some video today. I beg of you, darlings. Uh, it really makes a huge difference. So that's all I've got for you today. Join me on the Black Belt Bots Facebook page on Thursday. We're going to talk about broadcasts and keep, keeping people that are subscribed to your bot engaged and keeping, keeping you top of mind for the person they want to have a conversation with next. Um, so that's all I got for you today. Um, and if you would like, uh, head on over, head on over to my website. Uh, I've got some templates there. Some of them are free, blackbeltbots.com slash shop. Uh, some of those templates are free, and uh, the rest are at a nominal cost. I've also got a class. So if you're interested in learning a lot more, uh, I have a lot more for you. And uh, until then, my friends, I will see you in a bot.